Hello, everybody. We're back here. Stream number two on the moose grind today. Not gonna lie, I think I'm addicted to moose hunting again. Like, I've been... I, I, I hunted the entire time I wasn't streaming after I ended the stream. Do I have a problem? It was three hours of streaming moose, and then I spent, like, two more hours hunting them. Went down and, like, uh, you know, did, got, got some, like, dinner and stuff, and then... Did a, did a, got, got a couple drinks ready, and now I'm ready to stream again, you know. We're, we're just gonna go crazy. We're just gonna go crazy with the moose today. Why not? Let's get another one. And yes, the, uh, the, the little, little, little beers in the title. You guys know what that means. That, that's me saying exactly what you expect it to mean without saying it, you know, because YouTube guidelines, you know. <laughs> but this should be an interesting stream. Yeah, lots of- well, actually, I do have some water next to me, too, uh, french fry. You gotta stay hydrated while you're staying not hydrated, you know? You got you gotta- you gotta balance it out, right? You gotta have some water as well. Stay hydrated, guys. I got two diamonds during the two hours that I was grinding off stream, so... Our map is just super, super, uh, crazy right now. We're getting really good trophies. Also, I picked up a second 300 Magnum to be able to do this whenever I run out of ammo. And it's got the Hyperion scope in case I need to do closer shots, you know? Should be interesting. Ah, yes indeed, Tyson. Honestly, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I've never tried that before. Boom! Big male. But not as big as that monster right there. Look at him. He's just a giant. I mean, if I if I didn't know any better, I'd mistake that guy for the great one. How are you not alerted? Come on, man. I just shot a 22 next to you. Be alert. Really? Still not? Okay. There we go, finally. About time you realize that bullets are bad. But of course you got you got your girl in front of you, so I can't do anything about it. Oh, this is going great. We're, we're doing good tonight. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. You know what? I'm gonna do it. You're going down. There we go. <laughs> Risky shot, but we got it. Man. What a moose. I'm sorry to hear that one hunting. I'm glad that the streams have been able to help you out though Times will get better my guy. I promise. I've been through similar stuff uh, when I was growing up Been grinding moose all day and have nothing. Ooh, feels bad french fry Feels bad. Great one number 4,000 today. You know it. Great one 4,000 on the way. Ooh. What map am I on? This is Medved Taiga, Damien. Hey, Kato, how's it going, dude? Shut a diamond pronghorn today. Nice, Chase. That is amazing, dude. That is amazing. You mistook your 22 for a 308? Ooh. Feels bad. Gotta love it when you mix up the guns. Let's get the mouse great one tonight. Yeah, we gotta get that mouse great one. It's gonna be the new hot thing, you know? We need the mouse great one in the game. If they add the mouse great one, it's gonna be the only thing people care about. It does, Leo. Like, uh, even though moose grinding isn't the easiest grind in the game, it does get kind of addicting, which is why I, I grinded them so hard when the moose great one first came out. Because at the time, I was, like, really deep into the grind having fun. The Mouseketeer, yes. And no Mouseketools, though. We don't have those yet. Maybe one of these days we'll be cool enough to get some Mouseketools, but... Uh, from now, uh, or for now, we have the Mouseketeer, you know?
Caitlin, right now I'm having some of that uh having some of that uh Knob Creek rye with uh with some Dr. Pepper cherry, right? And uh I may have poured way too much in there. So every time there's a little bit of a wince, every time I take a drink. But it is what it is, you know. We'll we'll get through it. Great one vibes coming your way. Thank you, Brighton. We got this, dude. I believe. Why am I even going over here? This lake hasn't had anything in ages. Honestly, we need to go check this lake. Actually, that's the wrong one. I just went to the outpost instead of the tent. Man, this is going to be a long night. Put some ice in there. Ah, I, I'm just every time I take a sip, I'm just pouring a little bit more of the uh, the Dr. Pepper Zero in there or Dr. Pepper Zero Cherry. Gosh, they got to make the names like they got to simplify these names, man. Like who's going to remember that there's like 20 different types of Dr. Pepper? Like just just simplify it. Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero, like such a long name. Hey, Jack, I've got some uh, Knob Creek Y. Uh, I almost said Y. <laughs> Knob Creek Y. I got the Knob Creek Y. I got the uh, the Knob Creek Rye with uh, Dr. Pepper Cherry for a uh, fun little evening stream. Boom, got him. That one should be a female. Yep, that is indeed a female. What's a good gun for the feral goat? Um, a good gun for the feral goat would be the 243. Already got one, Brighton. Already got one. Because it was a scammer unknown. Um, I just put out a post addressing it. I thought that getting verified on YouTube would help reduce the amount of scammers, but instead I got an influx of scammers trying to pretend to be me, so you know, that's lovely. Gotta love it. Just remember guys, if you ever get a comment saying that you've won a giveaway, make sure that you actually see the check mark next to the name. If there's no check mark, it's not me. It's becoming more and more prevalent that people are trying to scam my viewers into thinking that they want a giveaway when there wasn't actually a giveaway, right? And now that I actually do giveaways, it's happening even more because they think they can blend in better. And in some cases, it's working. They're actually tricking people into thinking that I'm them. So remember, look for a name that says Scarecrow. The actual like handle will say scarecrow the hunter and i'll have a check mark near the name make sure that it's actually me if somebody says that you want to give away last thing i want is for some loser scammer trying to scam you guys you know make sure that it's really me Yeah, exactly. If anybody tells you to ask them to like text them or to message them on Telegram, it's definitely a scam because I wouldn't do that. Y'all know how I do my giveaways. I've already said it many times. I'm not going to say it again because I don't want the potential scammers to get any ideas. So, but you'll know if it's me because there's, there's many ways that I make sure that it's verifiable, right? Because I have you actually message me on Discord. If you ever, if you ever actually win a giveaway, I will have you message my official account on Discord, which is very easy to verify that it's me because you join my Discord and I'll be the owner of the Discord. Yeah, Bebop, it's, it's a bad thing. There's a lot of people trying to scam nowadays. It happens in everybody's comments now too. I've seen it in Flinters, I've seen it in Kill Clintons, like people, there's just a lot of scams going on, so be safe out there. Don't, don't fall for the scams. Do not fall for the scams, I tell ya. Let's go, hold on, let me real quickly, I'll jump in here. As you guys can see, I've been smoking moose 
while I was off stream. Um, I went, this is where I went down to get uh, something to eat. And then I started streaming about an hour later, but I did get a couple diamonds, including this guy right here. And then a bunch of small males, of course, but we did get a couple diamonds in between streams. PlayStation Kid, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Hope you are doing amazing. Thank you so much. Very generous of you. Hope you're having a fun time watching the stream and having a good evening as well. Oh, that is a that is a, that's a log right there. You'd think that after all the time that I've played this game, I'd be able to maneuver through these terrible uh, logs and rocks of Medved, but no. Still, still can't. Still can't maneuver through anything in this game. And I definitely won't be able to maneuver after I get done with the night. <laughs> Nothing there. Time to do a little quick reset. Yeah, if there was no check mark next to the name, it wasn't me, Brighton. If it did have the check mark, then it was me, you know. That's the easiest way to determine if you actually won. Make sure the name has the uh, official verification check mark next to it. Honestly, I'm really happy that YouTube got to back to me quick on the approval for the verification because now I can actually have an easier way to verify that you guys are not getting scammed, right? Now you guys will know exactly if it is me. It's unfortunate that the scammers like started working in double time the second I got verified. It's like they know that their, their days are numbered and that if they don't act quick, then everybody's going to not believe them. Oh, got you, Brighton. Yeah, you probably were one of the winners. Um, was it one of the, was it one of the American Marksman codes? Because I know I gave out like six or seven American Marksman codes. Hey, Flash Gamer, how's it going? Something I hope they do sometimes be able to play a little bit on a crappier PC. PC, like my friend is so laggy. Yeah, I don't really think there's too much they can do with that. They already have the options to go to low settings. If you can't go, if you can't run it on low settings, then I think that just means that it's time to get a better PC. Because most like mid tier PCs can run Call of the Wild on low settings fine. So I don't, I don't think Expansive Worlds will make it so you can go even lower on the settings. I, I'm sure in the future they could do optimization. But that's about it. I think that's the only thing they could do, and even that is going to be tough. They've already uh, had the game out for years, so optimization at this point would be difficult to make it any better. When you collab with anyone like Kendall Gray, I don't know, man. I sent Kendall an email, but I don't think he's seen it yet. I have not got a reply. So I don't know. I, I sent Kendall an email, but I imagine Kendall probably gets hundreds of emails every week. So the chances of him actually seeing my email is pretty low. Um, so yeah, I, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to get you guys those collabs you want to see, but sometimes it's difficult to uh, collaborate with larger creators just because of the fact that they do get a lot of messages every day and it's hard to filter out um, messages from people like me amongst all the other messages they get. We'll see though. We'll see one of these days. I imagine the most likely collaboration would possibly be somebody like Didi. I know Didi would be interested in doing some like uh, drives on Mississippi or something like that. So maybe you guys will see a collab with Didi at some point.
What food do I hate the most? I don't know, fake fisherman. Um, I don't know if there's any food that I like really hate so much that I would consider to be hated the most. Gosh, I don't know. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. Possibly the boys, possibly. I've done a couple collabs with Flinter before, RT. I don't know if you've seen them or not, but we've got a, we got a couple of them on the channel. What is this guy doing? He's just now coming into the zone. There we go. Hey, uh, Soxer, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. How's the day going? It's going good, Walker. I'm having a lot of fun today. This is the first time in a while that I've actually been really enjoying the moose grind, so I am having a pretty good day. We need to go here. I'm not going to do it, Hamoud. Uh, unfortunately, that was something that... A lot of people got pretty mad that I said I would do that, so unfortunately I won't be able to do that. I wanted to, but um, a lot of people got pretty mad that I said I would do that, so not going to name names, but there there were some people that got pretty mad that I said I was going to do that, so I decided I'm not going to because I don't want to make the world hate me. Come on, little moose. I think instead what I'm going to do is eventually I might give away a great one to a viewer. I think that will be uh, more widely well received. And probably better in the long run. And I, I've got an idea for a brand new series. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do guided diamond hunts for viewers like Lady does, right? And obviously, I don't want to directly copy anything that another creator is doing. There's kind of an unspoken rule amongst creators where you don't directly copy what somebody else is doing. So, I'm not going to do guided diamond hunts. You guys have been asking for those, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead, that way we get some interaction with the community and not be copying anybody else, is I'm going to help you guys find your zones for Great One Grinds. I decided that that would probably be the best route to go, so probably either tomorrow or the day after, we're going to have a stream where I will pick a couple people from chat and we will find all, a bunch of your zones for either whitetail, moose, red deer, or black bear. And just make it easier for you to find your great one by finding some of the zones for you. I think that could be a fun way to interact with you guys while also... Uh, making some cool content out of it. Because like I said, I know you guys have been wanting like viewer hunts, but I don't want to be copying what other people are doing right now. So I think instead, I will help you guys find your zones for the great one. And I think that could be a lot of fun as well. I don't know if we got that thing. Um, I'm not sure, RT. I haven't decided on that yet. I don't even have, like, voice channels in my Discord. I think what it would be is I would jump onto their map and I would bring up, like, a map of Leighton Lakes or Medved or whatever map we're hunting, right? And then as I find zones, I will write them down on the map and then send a uh, picture of the map to the person that I was on their map, right? Nice, Ron, that's awesome. I mean, yeah, Caitlin, if you want to, I can do that. That could be fun. Ooh, got our bone and get that moose on top of that Yukon. Yeah, yeah, woo. That's the only song you guys get all night, I'm, I promise. Oh, we're heading out to the Yukon now. We're gonna find them moose and shoot them down. 
We're gonna get that great one today. How far did this thing go? Way too far. That is the uh, correct answer. Way too far. Not gonna go after him. You're probably not wrong, Kalen. You're probably not wrong. Throw a Grammy. How's it going, dear killer? How you doing, man? Am I excited for the new update? Yes, I am very excited for the new update. Oh, look at that thing. It's not a diamond, but that's a big boy. Hey, Zach, how's it going, dude? Thank you for the super chat. Absolute legend over here. When did you become so cool, Zach? Gosh, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, Alyssa, I remember you. You were here in the uh, stream earlier today. Of course I remember you. Believe it or not, I remember a lot of the people that are in chat. If you guys, if you guys have talked in chat multiple times, high chance I'll remember you. How far am I in the grind? Pretty far, Ronnie. Let me check uh, exactly. So I, I killed a good amount of moose. Probably close to 100 after I ended the stream. I've killed 1,670 moose since the last great one. It, it's been a while. We have uh, not got a great one moose in a very long time. Uh-oh, I only see two there. Definitely can't shoot anything there. Don't want to accidentally delete the zone. Oh no, Levi, that's not good. It's your birthday Monday. Happy early birthday, Fishing with Peanut. Happy early birthday, my dude. That's a nice little moose right there and a little, little moose next to it. Another four? What else do we got over here, eh? A small four. Lots of small fours. Not really any giant fours yet besides that one that we just killed. Come on now. Go down. Oh my gosh, I'm a sniper tonight. Freaking sniper elite over here. <laughs> We're doing decent today, guys. We're not doing too bad. But I think of another Russia map, if it's got new species, I'm down for it. That's kind of my outlook on most like new maps nowadays. As long as it's got new species, I'd be okay with it being added to the game. As long as they find a way to make it unique, I will be fine with it. Wow, we got all four of those moose, I think, in the vitals. Yeah, that guy's vitally hit. Boom, another one right into that lung. Can't get away from a bullet, can you? Thoughts on a Japan map? Uh, they have brown and black bears, a few deer species, and a lot of rodents in small game. Um, if, if the developers are willing to do it, then I'm down for it. Like I said, right now, pretty much any new map that has new species, I'm down for. Yeah, Binks, of course. How's it going, Gunner? Hope you're uh, enjoying the stream. Bro, a little tip. I'm more than a... Well, actually, yeah, you're right, Isaac. I am just a little bit at the moment, but soon to be more than a little bit, hopefully. Shut up, wolves. I'm talking here. Freaking wolves and interrupting me. Trying to talk over here, man. Brighton, you've said that like 10 times now. I, I already know, man. You, you don't got to say the same thing like 10 times over 15 minutes since it was a relevant reply. I already, I already, I already responded to you, man. Uh, 
That's vital blood. Wow. That's a real good sign right there. Was your last Great One Moose a fur type? No, Jack. I have had three Great One Moose, and every single one of them was a common. Every single one was a common fur type, sadly. I had two common quad paddles and a common with the non-typical rack. The big non-typical rack. I have had a very interesting time with the moose. Come on, Hunter, find me that moose. Oh, wait, they're right there. Literally right in front of me. Uh, yeah, as you know, one of the moderators can do the uh, collaboration command, and it'll, it'll have all of the uh, different collabs that I've done with other creators. There it is, right there. Uh, maybe Brighton. I already did a Great One Lodge tour a couple days ago, though. If you look at my video from like three or four days ago, it's a it's a full Lodge tour of all of my Great Ones and Super Rares and like trophies I got on the Great One grinds. How is that not thing not hit vitally? No way that I didn't get vitals on him. That first shot had to be vitals. I mean, it's going down, but that's just because I hit it four times. There's no way I didn't get vitals on that first shot. We were going straight on at the chest. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, Alyssa. Most likely I'm just gonna pick some random names from the chat. But just keep in mind that it has to be on PC, because I, I don't play on Xbox or PlayStation, so it would be for PC players. There's our moose right there. Beautiful. Um, I don't know where the other one would have gone. Maybe our dog can find it. No, no, no. Don't lay down. Don't lay down. No sleeping on the job. I need you to track it. There we go. He's tracking it now. Come on, buddy. Find us that moose. We got ourselves a good hit. So he shouldn't be too far away. Is GeForce good? Are you talking about the, uh, the software that NVIDIA provides for their graphics cards? NVIDIA GeForce? If, if you're if you're talking about that yes it, it is good to have if you have an Nvidia graphics card nice drawn gotta love it man sparkling water over regular water any day couple regular cow moose over there come on where's our great one we got to get this great one man what am I doing for PC only? Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, kind of like a new stream, right? Where we find uh, zones for people that are trying to do great one grinds. I've had so many requests recently to do guided hunts because of uh, Lady Legend doing the guided diamond hunts. And obviously I don't want to do exactly what Lady's doing because there's, there's, there's kind of a rule that us content creators create amongst ourselves that you don't directly copy what somebody else is doing. So, what I'm going to do is something a little bit different that will still involve you guys. So, we're going to be essentially picking a couple people um, where I will help you guys find your zones for your Great One grind. It'll give the like community interaction that you guys have been wanting without it being a copy of any idea that anybody else has done. 
Because I, I can't remember anybody ever doing that on YouTube, so that's what we're going to do. And I think it should be quite fun. I've got a lot of knowledge on, uh, like, Medved Moose, Tiabaro Red Deer, and Leighton uh, Whitetail, as well as just knowledge of how to find zones for any species in the game, so I figure it could be quite helpful. I think it'll be a lot of fun to do. Need that two-tone quad paddle? Yeah, Leo. Two-tone's a cool fur type. I, I, It's really grown on me. It wasn't a top three for me for a long time, but recently I've really started to like it. That's a male. What was my first diamond? It was a red deer. My first ever diamond was a uh, 951 red deer back on the old scoring system where it was a 1 to 1000 system. Amazing diamond. It's actually on the channel as well. Whoa, Hunter, getting in front of me, man. Gotta jump over you. Probably not, Alyssa. I, I tend to stick to PC because that's what I know. Recording on a console involves like a whole a whole new level of uh like different stuff that you have to do. In order to do like console, I have to run the console through a capture card, and then I have to run the capture card to my PC. And with my current setup, there's not really a way that I could do that. I would have to bring a TV up here and hook everything up and like all that stuff. It, it would just be a whole process, right? Not to mention having to get the consoles. So for now, we're just going to stick to PC. Maybe one of these days I'll get a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 and uh, like a, one of the new Xboxes and stuff like that. But for now, we're going to have to stick to PC for that stuff. That's a big moose, not a diamond, but a big moose. Man, when are we going to get another great one, guys? I feel like it's been ages since we got our last great one, Moose. Jeez. Come on, man. Respawn is something huge. Not a hard shot, unfortunately. We did get the vitals, though. Oh, smoking him. That guy got hit in the vitals, too. Took a three-hour nap after work today. Amazing. Hey, man, sometimes you just need that, you know? Sometimes you just need a little extra nap. Ah, uh, yes, report on new updates, KB Vlogs. If you're not doing Call of the Wild, then I, I, to be honest, I really don't know. I, I can really only give tips for starting up a Call of the Wild channel. Or, I guess, just a gaming channel in general. If you're doing gaming channels, then reporting on the news for games that you play is always a good thing. Be the first to report about new things, and you will do well. That's how I kind of grew my channel at the beginning, was I reported on um, news for Call of the Wild and tried to do it before anybody else could. And then eventually, it ended up working out. Kevin, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing great. Hey, Pancake, you didn't miss anything yet. Nothing yet. Nothing there. All right, let's go claim this guy. Where did he go down? Right there. Beautiful. 
What does sleep mean? I don't know what sleep means, to be honest. Dads don't get sleep. I'm going to tell you all right now, if you ever become a dad, you will never have a regular sleep schedule again. I'm going to just tell you that right now. You'll never have a regular sleep schedule again. You'll be incredibly happy, but you will never have a regular sleep. sleep English is tough. You'll never have a regular sleep schedule again. I'll tell you, it, it is like the best thing that could ever happen to you, but your sleep schedule will suffer. Good good luck sleeping in. <laughs> it's great, though. Let's see. Can we get ourselves that guy right there? That is the one that we want. Can I hit that? Oh, yes, we can. Blind shot. Couldn't even see the heart. Still took him down. Holy. That's got to be our best shot of the evening. Holy. Yep, exactly. Aaliyah woke up at like 7 a.m. this morning. And then some nights she doesn't go to bed till like 2 or 3 a.m. It's, uh... Yeah, you'll never sleep normal when you're a parent. I'll tell you that. Say goodbye to normal sleep schedules. Uh, she's about to be two years old, uh, Ezio. She'll be two years old in a couple of months. Yeah, I can see that, Hunter's Boy. I imagine once they get to be teenagers, it's probably a little bit easier. But yeah, having a toddler, goodbye all sleep. Come on, Mr. Moosey. Are you going to be the one that's that spawns as a great one next round? Please tell me you are. I'm, I'm desperate for a great one at this point. We, we've had so many moose kills without one. What is this? I guess it really depends on how you raise them to RT. I guess, that's honestly a huge factor. Like, depending on how you raise your kids, right? And like how knowledgeable you were about like what you need to do to raise them when they're younger that can greatly affect how they behave when they're older like I, I know some dads that have a have a teenage daughter and they they swear it's the best thing in the world and then others that are like oh man it's such a handful I, I think it really just depends on like the area they're raised in as well as like how you raise them I think it's a combination of the both, right? Your piebald bull had those antlers? Nice, Caitlin. Nice, Bobby the 300 is a great rifle. Or are you talking about a 300 moose? Either way, that's great. There's our moose right there. Oh, definitely, RT, definitely. I mean, I got my, uh, I have a daughter, so yeah, I agree. Amazing. I, I really wanted a daughter when, um, when we, when we found out that my wife was pregnant, I really wanted a daughter. I would have been happy with either, but I don't know. There's just something about having a daughter that to a father, that's like, it's like, you know, it's da dad's little princess, you know? I think most fathers, like, really want a daughter. And then are, like, super protective of their daughters as well. I don't know, Drawn. We're going wild. Yeah, that sounds about right, Caitlin. Honestly, that's how it was like when I was a kid like a lot of my a lot of my sister's friends They were like drama queens. I swear like Her friends got into so much drama more than I had ever seen in my life Uh, 
Um, hunting guy, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Should you get the power pack or the 300? I would probably wait till the power pack, Pancake. I mean, that thing's going to have a 7 mil bolt action as well as a 338 bolt action. I mean, you can't beat that. That's going to be such a, uh, a great pack to get. Glad you love the music, Hunter's Boy. I try to get a good variety of different music on the stream, like all types of genres, so there's something for everybody. Favorite diamond in the game? I would have to say my favorite diamond is the red deer. There's just something about the red deer that just look phenomenal. They're, they're just so big and impressive, you know? It'll probably be the same as all other packs, KB Vlogs, which usually a weapon pack costs around $3.99 USD. Hey, Huntfish, how's it going? Nothing there? Nothing there. You're gonna get a great one today, but it's gonna be a common fur. Hey, as long as it's the typical rack, I don't care if it's a common fur. If I get a typical rack one, I will be happy no matter what the fur type is. I just want that typical rack so bad. The typical rack or the spider rack. Just give me one of the racks I don't already have. You know what's crazy to think about, guys? The Whitetail Great One still has the most different antler variations of all Great Ones. Like, the Moose may be the newest, and it may have more fur types, but it still doesn't have as many antler configurations. The Whitetail has six different antlers, and the Moose only has four. So with the Moose, it's more of a question of, like, what fur type are you going to get? Yeah, Drawn, I don't blame you. I mean, the new weapon pack is going to come with skins as well, so that's pretty cool. I'll Also, I don't know if I clarified this, but Jaxie Beard commented on my video talking about the 338 and the 7 mil, and he confirmed that the 7 millimeter, you know, like the Hunter Power Pack, the new weapon pack will come with seven skins. You're going to get seven different weapon skins just for buying the pack, so that's actually really nice. I think that's the first time that they've ever done that, isn't it? That's the first time we've ever got skins with a weapon pack. It used to be that you would get like three variations of each weapon, but now instead you'll get, you know, one variation of each weapon plus seven skins that you can put on any weapon, which I think is pretty cool. I, I do think that is a good way to do it. I kind of wish they would do like at least two variations of each gun plus the skins, but I mean, I'll take it. It's still nice to get seven different skins with your weapon pack. And I hope they keep doing this in the uh, in the future, including skins with the weapon pack so you don't have to buy them separately. Yeah, Kronk, it's a good song. I like it. What are y'all's predictions for this run? Are we going to get ourselves a giant diamond or are we going to get a rare? Are we going to get ourselves a great one? What's going to happen this run? I don't know if we got that guy good. A super rare? Great one, troll, level four diamond. I mean, that's a lot of different predictions. One of them has to come true, right?
That had to be vitals, right? No, it wasn't. That's a hit, though. So we killed at least two. That looks like two right there. Common quad battle. No, fake fisherman. Don't curse me like that, man. I don't want another common quad battle, okay? I, I don't want another common quad battle. That's the last thing I want to see. What have I got today? Um, in the first stream we did today, I got three diamonds and a melanistic. This stream, nothing so far. But hopefully something soon. We've had a few really nice level fours, so maybe we'll get a big five eventually. Nice, Colton. That's awesome, dude. Congrats, my man. Congrats. Oh, gosh. We are peeling out. That looks like a dead moose up there. Is that a dead moose? I bet that's a dead moose. That looks like the outline of a dead moose to me. I'm going to jump off the ATV. No way we're going to drive all the way up there. Oh, no, Johnny. That's the worst. It is a dead moose. I knew it. Man, when you when you shoot this many moose, you kind of just learn what the outline of a moose looks like. I think that means I got a problem. Come on. Okay, we got that one's attention. Beautiful. Also, let's use the other 300 with the Hyperion on it. Oh, bad idea. Didn't get the shot good. Bad decision. Oh, no. You know what? It, it is what it is. We'll uh, we'll work past it. Did they die? At least one of them did. Must have done something, right? I may suck at aiming, but at least one of them died. Hey, Bebop, how's it going, dude? Hey, TTK. What's up, my dude? Nice, normal KG. That's awesome, man. I wish we had moose here in Oregon. If we did, I would totally hunt them. Oh, we got vitals on both of these. Nice. That is awesome. Both of them are dead right here as well. Hashtag fastest moose claimer in the West. Oh, definitely, TTK. Definitely. I mean, we did three hours earlier. I'm planning to do at least three tonight. So that's like six hours today. And, and don't forget, guys, whenever this new weapon pack releases, I'm doing a 12-hour stream. That I have already uh, promised and confirmed. We're doing a 12-hour stream Whenever early access drops for the new weapon pack. So that's going to be a fun time. That's going to be real good. Oh, that's a big male. Hey, buddy, you're looking good. You're not like a diamond or anything, but... A good looking moose, if I do say so myself. Hey, 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 come back here. Come back here. No, no, no. Don't get away. Not letting you get away like that. <laughs> that would just be rude to run away from Crow, you know? Gotta take the bullet for the team. 
Or in this case, gotta take the bullet for the stream. You know what? This is why I think of the black bear grind. This is why we're grinding moose instead. This is the black bear grind, guys. That's why we don't grind black bear. Because they suck. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caitlin. I had to. This is why moose are just better. They're just a more fun grind. I feel attacked. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caitlin. I had to. It, it, it was just it was just too easy of a joke to go off of. What do we got here? Come on, give us some giants. This lake has been so good to us. Ah, it's just mediocre bulls. I mean, he's decent, but still just small males as always. Let's get this guy to move. Come on, buddy. Boom! You got no heart now. Oh, that guy got away. I think we can get this one. How are you a four? That makes no sense. You're so small. How is that guy a four? That is like the smallest four I've ever seen in my life. This level three doesn't even take damage, apparently. Don't be going down like that. Did I hit him? Now I did for sure. Are any of them dead? No, they're not dead. All right. Bears are burst. I uh, yeah. They're great. Where is Layton supposed to take place IRL? It's based in Washington, Ezio. It's based in Washington. Any tips on getting a great one of any type on the hunter? Um, hunt around water and try to find as many zones for that species as you can. As always, it's just like hunt the drink zones, you know? Hunt the drink zones of that species and try to shoot as many of them as you possibly can to try and get that great one to spawn. Because the more males of that species you get down, the more chances that you will get a great one. Oh gosh, Johnny. A black buck grind with the uh with the nighttime drink zones? That that doesn't sound fun. That sounds like a rough time to me. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's good. That's the four right there. I don't know if we'll ever get that three. Where does Medved take place? I believe it's based in Siberia. Like Siberia, Russia. If I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong though. Come on, Hunter. Show us the way. Show me the way. Please show me the way. Yeah, Proxy K is great, Caitlin. Proxy K is pretty cool. I've talked to him a couple times. He makes really good guide videos, and also he's he seems to be just in general a really good dude. Highly recommend his guides. He's a great guy.
What should you hunt for on Silver Ridge Peace? Um, how about Pronghorn Antelope KB Vlogs? They're really fun. Oh yeah, I'm definitely in, uh, Bobby. We're, we're a little, little bit tippy-tippy, you know? Not like all the way there, but enough to where like, uh, the stream's been interesting. And I mean, I'm only halfway through my drink, so you know, things, things are gonna get, uh, things are gonna get a little crazy <laughs> if we keep going. Wait, how are y'all fleeing? What? Okay, let's main menu. They shouldn't be fleeing. What is this? That's just, that should be illegal for them to flee like that. Who told them they could flee? I certainly didn't. What are you talking about, Speedin? First of all, you shouldn't let people on the internet get to you. Second of all, who? Because I, I haven't seen anything. Given I haven't seen every message, but... Don't let people on the internet get to you, man. It's not worth it. Chances are they're trying to get a reaction. Got him. Speed, and it probably wasn't anything serious, man. Just understand that on the internet, like, you can't let people get to you. The majority of people on the internet will have some form of trolling. Just, just understand that you gotta get past it, man. If you are online long enough, you're going to have people that try to make fun of you. The best way to deal with it is to just not let it get to you. Just show them that it doesn't bug you. The more you show them that it doesn't bug you, the less it'll happen because they realize they can't get to you. Nine times out of ten, bullies are trying to get a reaction out of you because that's what makes them feel powerful. So if you don't give them any reaction, there's a pretty high chance that they will give up and leave you alone. That's how I've dealt with every type of, like, um... Uh, Attacks that I've got here as a youtuber, right? Like as a youtuber, I'm I'm open to lots of criticism and uh, Like being made fun of and stuff, right? The less you let people get to you the less that they will try to get to you That's just how that's just how it is right because they're trying to get a reaction if you don't give them a reaction They'll leave you alone usually Not all the time, but usually they will stop trying because it, they realize that it's not gonna not gonna amount to anything. Hey Max, how's it going? Dude, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good tonight. Calm down, level three. I don't know if that was a good shot, but... I think it'll die eventually. Bobby, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Don't let me get my dad on you while he sells propane. <laughs> amazing. Thank you for the super chat, Bobby. That's amazing. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. Yeah, from my experience, that's the best way to handle it. Like, if somebody's being mean to you, the less you show that it bugs you, the less that they will attempt to do anything. Because 99% of the time, a bully is trying to get a reaction. The only reason they do it is because they see you reacting to it poorly. It's best to just show them that it doesn't bug you. If they know that it doesn't bug you, then they'll give up because they've lost all purpose in trying to do it. Their whole purpose in life is to get a reaction. If they don't get a reaction, then what do they even have to try for? I've seen it many times where they just give up because they don't get a reaction. Don't feed into giving them exactly what they want, you know?
Come on, level four. Come back here. Oh, smoked him. Oh, another one. One more? Yep, one more. Take that. Keegan, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. May I get mod, please? I only moderate people that are close friends of mine or that um, moderate for other content creators in the Call of the Wild community. Due to the whole fact that being a moderator comes with a lot of power. But thank you for the super chat once again. I really do appreciate it. Do you know what pronghorn, what time pronghorn drink on SRP? I believe it's 17 if I'm not mistaken. I believe 17 is their drink time. 17 to like 20, I believe? Could be wrong, but I think that is their drink time. What's the most fun map? I mean, that's gonna really depend on what you like the most. I've always found Silver Ridge Peaks to be a really fun map. Same with Tiabaroa. Ravantuli is also a blast if you love bird hunting. It depends on a lot of factors, you know? There's a lot of maps that a lot of people love. I mean, some people love Hirschfelden over all the other maps, even though, like, it may not be one of my favorites. There's a lot of people that love Hirschfelden and find it more fun because it's a challenge. That's a piebald! Oh my gosh, a piebald! <laughs> hey, buddy, what's up? Oh my gosh, we got a pie ball right there. I looked at him and I looked at the other one and I was like, oh, that guy's big. And I was like, wait a minute, that one looks weird. It's a pie ball. This has been such a, a good grind for rares. My gosh. I've had like four rares in the last, let's say, hundred. Well, not hundred, but I've had... Four rares in the last 400 kills, roughly. Oh no, we didn't hit him vitally. Oh my gosh, I was zeroed for 75. No! You know what? It, it is what it is. We'll wait for him to come back. I can't believe I was just zeroed for 75. No. We'll, we'll make it up. We'll get the follow-up shot into him. We will get this. Look at him. Oh, he's out of render. Well, we'll get him whenever he gets back in render. Yeah, that's a feels bad, guys. That's a feels bad right there. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure, Noah. I, I kind of, um... I kind of just hunt whatever I'm having fun with on Call of the Wild because I feel like the best content is when I'm enjoying what I'm doing, right? And I didn't have fun with bears. Every time I hunted bears, it was just a, it was just me waiting, a, a waiting around for three in-game hours for the bears to even show up at their zones. So I don't know. I'm probably not going to hunt bears anytime soon because I just don't have fun with them. I try to just do what I'm having fun with. Because I, I really feel like if I'm not having fun, it shows in the content and it's less enjoyable to watch. And so we are hunting moose right now. And we hunt a lot of whitetail because those are my favorite things to hunt right now. Uh, yeah, Complex, I have a couple times. What was my first great one? My first great one was a cluster rack whitetail off of Rancho Del Arroyo. Did that pieball die? I don't know if it did. I think it must have. I mean, it was just a small pieball, so it is what it is if it ended up dying, but... Still cool that we even found one. Today's been a good day for trophies. Yeah, this is the pieball track right here. Is he up here somewhere? We gotta find this piebald. We gotta figure out where he went. Should you do a red deer grind or a moose grind? Um, as much as I want to say do a moose grind, Matt, I would say do whichever one you think you would have the most fun with. I'm very big on just having fun in this game. If you think that you would enjoy one grind more than the other, that's the grind you should do. 
Because at the end of the day, if you're not having fun, then is it really worth it? Make sure that you're doing whatever you enjoy doing. Thank you, Rex. I'm glad you enjoy them, dude. What is the best money-making animal? Uh, lions and red deer are two of the best money makers in the game. Red deer are super plentiful and get between like a thousand and fifteen hundred cash. Lions give probably the most cash and XP in the entire game. They give upwards of seventeen hundred cash for like a decent sized male, and usually around four to five hundred XP, which is pretty crazy. I don't think this other one has died. We're gonna try and track him down though. We gotta find this piebald. What do you guys think? Did he die yet? Or do you think that he survived and ran away? I'm thinking that he survived and ran away. I don't think he's died yet. I think we'll be able to find him if we keep going. How do you make so lit thumbnails? Lots of practice, Kato. I use Photoshop and I, I've looked up a lot of tutorials on how to do stuff like cutting out the uh, images of like the deer and stuff and putting them on there. Photoshop is pretty good for making uh, thumbnails. And recently I discovered this tool on Photoshop that's actually really cool where you can essentially just replace the sky with a different sky. So I've been doing that with my, vi with my uh, thumbnails to make them look more like vibrant and cool. It's pretty cool. Lots of cool uh, editing options with Photoshop. Let's keep tracking this piebald. I'm curious how far it's gone. Honestly, I think piebald has been the most common rare for me with the moose. I've seen so many piebalds compared to Mela and Albino. But to be honest, I've seen more Melas than I have Albinos. I think it's been like piebald, then Mela, then Albino. Pretty sure we have like three Melas and like one albino and probably like seven different piebalds. It's been wild. Also a cool way to spend tons of money. True. Photoshop does get pricey if you wanna if you wanna get it, you know. It does cost a bit. But I think it's worth it in a lot of cases for the uh, features that you get. If you're a content creator, especially. If you're a content creator, Photoshop's a must. You have the free options too, but Photoshop is just, it just does things that other, other ones can't or can't do as good. Got a bad shot on a moose, tracked it, blood went down to 25%, couldn't find any more blood. Ooh, that's unfortunate, man. I've had a few scenarios where that happened. In some cases, the animal can stop bleeding, so that's something to keep an eye out for. Yeah, this moose has definitely not died from this shot. He is still alive. He's still running away. What do you guys think? Do you want me to keep tracking him or should we reset the time? I kind of want to keep tracking him just to keep the whole like moment going, right? I find it more interesting if I track him down. What do you guys think, though? Should we track him or should we reset the time? I'll let you guys be the deciding factor on that. Because I'm fine with whatever. Reset, track, track, track him, track him, reset. Keep tracking. I mean, I see the majority of you want me to keep tracking, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's track down this piebald. Let's get him on the ground. I'm gonna leave uh, Hunter up to the tracking. He kind of knows what he's doing better than I do right now. No track found. Hunter, there's literally blood right here. What are you doing, dude? It's literally right over here, Hunter. Come on, buddy. My dog can't even track properly. Come on, Hunter. There's no way you don't see the blood. You haven't missed any great ones yet, Alex. We've had some good trophies tonight, though. We're tracking a piebald currently. 
Uh, we're trying to get this piebald uh, moose. It is... Wait, no blood still? What? Come on. I guess it stopped bleeding. It seems we're going to have to find the tracks ourselves. Yeah, he definitely stopped bleeding for sure. Unfortunately, I was hoping he would continue. Wait, okay, so he turned over here. This actually might be pretty helpful. We might be able to find the next track. Capricali? Um, okay. Random Capricali over there. Interesting. There we go. We're back on the track. We're going to find this guy. I promise you guys that we will find this beautiful piebald. Wait, I'm confused, Caitlin. What's happening? <laughs> that sentence has me incredibly confused. As long as people can respectfully say they don't like me and not... And not was just said to me. Sorry, my my not... My not sober brain can't read right now. I have no idea what that means. Also, where's this pipe? Is that him? No, that's her. That's a female moose. Yeah, we're resetting the time. I can't even figure out where this thing went. I I can't I can't be tracking right now. Especially since he stopped bleeding and the tracks disappeared. Like his uh, his regular tracks just completely disappeared there. Uh, because speeding, moderators are here to enforce the rules. If you're disobeying the rules, you gotta you gotta listen to the moderators. I don't know how hard that is to understand. If you're breaking rules, listen to the mods, please. If the moderators tell you to do something, just listen to them. They're here to make the chatting experience better for everybody. You gotta understand that you, you can't take things you can't take things personally if a moderator is telling you they're just enforcing the chat rules that I set. Best thing to do is just leave it alone. Just move past it, drop it, and get on with your day. It'll make things a lot easier. Here we go. Let's get this pie ball down. Just going for a lung shot. Not going to go for a heart shot on that one. Let's get this beast on the ground. And that one too. Why not? Let's just drop a couple shots into him. Oh, three shots actually. You know what? Why, why not just dump the whole clip into him? I can assure you, speed and nothing that they say will be outside of the rules. In fact, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to read through everything. Speeding, I don't think I don't see anything wrong there. Just just listen to the moderators, please. It makes their jobs easier. It makes it makes my life easier. And if you just move on, it'll make your life easier too. Just understand the moderators here aren't they're they're not here to make your life miserable, right? They're just here to enforce the rules and make sure everybody has a good time. Just chill. Chill out, dude. 
You've been a member of the community for a long time. You should know this by now. They're not here to make anybody's life difficult. They're just here to make the stream more enjoyable. So chill. There's our little piebald right there. Honestly, <laughs> that's kind of a cute little rack to get on him. That is, that's kind of a cute rack to get on a piebald. Definitely one of the smaller level threes, but it's really wide and kind of strange looking, to be honest. Look at that, 168. That's adorable. What was our first shot like? <coughs> what? What? How? How is that? What? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was thinking to myself, like, there's no way that was a bad shot, right? Like, that couldn't have been a bad shot. Nope, it was just the game. It was just the game not understanding what hit registration is. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then second shot was good, thankfully. But what was that? What is that? Apparently, air is really good at stopping bullets. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought, man? Well, either way, we got ourselves a beautiful piebald. That's two rares on stream today. A piebald and a melanistic. Amazing. Love to see it. I think we're doing pretty good today. Honestly, this moose grind has been such a fun time. I'm so happy we got back to the moose grind. I honestly was kind of missing it. Thank you, Ender. Appreciate it, dude. The invisible shield? Apparently, Necron, like, that bullet just got blocked by nothing. Hey, Delandra, how's it going? Can you text us hard shot the next great one? I don't know. It depends on if that's, like, a reliable thing that you can do without messing it up. If I could text us hard shot a great one without it always being, like, a mess up, then I would totally do it. If there's a good chance of hitting vitals, then yeah, I would do it. I I think the only way to do it is the uh, the larger grain arrows, though, right? Crossbow? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, some of the arrows can do it. That could be an interesting way to try and get a great one, like Texas hard shotting a whitetail. Well, yeah, Johnny. 470 would hit vitals, but can I really 470 a moose? great one no because i wouldn't get full score but uh yeah <laughs> if i if i can do it with a crossbow on like a white tail i would totally do it what do you mean bebop oh i see what you mean <laughs> i see what you mean never mind sorry the drinks are getting to me Nice coins, awesome dude. Welcome back. Welcome back. How many albinos has, have I killed? If I'm being honest, I don't think I've ever kept track of individual rares. Um, I know I've killed a lot of albinos over the years, but I, I've never kept a count of exactly how many I've killed. Oh no, Matt, that's not good, dude. You know, I've had that happen before in multiplayer. I've joined some multiplayer sessions and killed diamonds that somebody else had shot. And because they had shot them, it didn't end up making diamond because they used the wrong gun. I've had that happen a few times. How was that not vitals? He's going down. We're good. We're good. Can we get this one, though? Boom! Hard shot! Take that, you freaking nerd! Veteran, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. You have to pick up all your kills to spawn a great one or no? Doing my white tail grind for a great one. So I was just wondering. Uh, love your vids, man. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Um, nobody knows for sure if you have to or if you can leave them. Personally, from what I've seen throughout the community, I do think you have to claim them, or at least claim the majority. 
I, I've talked to a lot of people that didn't claim their kills, and it took them a very long time to get a great one. And then a lot of them say the second they started claiming them, they got their great one a few hundred kills later. So, I do recommend claiming everything. But, to be honest, there's no way to 100% verify that that's required. But from what I've seen, I do believe that it is important to claim all your trophies. Hey, P. Diddy, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the channel, man. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. Hope you're having as good of a day as uh, these moose are. Because they've been giving us all the diamonds and stuff today. So their days must be going great. Where's the blood? There's the blood. Where did he run to? Did he run over here? Or is that him over there? I, I don't even know at this point. Let's just go over here. Let's just claim this one. Oh, it is him. Wow. Okay. I, I didn't actually think that was him, but it is. Yeah, of course I do, JR. Welcome back, dude. Hope you're doing good. Do we got any moose in the uh, reeds over here? Nope. In that case, we are going to move down here. Um, I'm going to hit up the restroom real quickly, guys. I promise I won't be more than like 30 seconds. I promise you. I'm back. Told y'all it wouldn't be long. We are back already. And my cat is rubbing against my legs because she wants attention. Silly little Evie. I mean, it wasn't way longer than 30 seconds. It was like, okay, may maybe I meant 30 seconds after I make it to the restroom, right? Like, <laughs> to be fair, like, once I got into the restroom, it was only, like, less than 30 seconds, right? I'm not counting the time it took to walk there. Oh, we didn't get the uh, hard shot on the second one. He's not gonna die, I don't think. Yeah, Fake Fisherman, my cat is named Evie. And then our other cat is named uh, Jasper. We have uh, Jasper and Evie. Yeah, all sports channel, I do hunt in real life. I haven't done it in a while, but yes, I, I have hunted in real life before. My dad used to take me hunting as a kid, and then uh, after he passed, my, uh, my sister would take me or my half-sister would take me hunting. So I, I've done a decent bit of hunting. Never really had much luck with it. But yeah, I have been hunting. Yeah, Brittany, the duck hunting is really fun in Call of the Wild. They, they've done it nicely. They do have a very good system for duck hunting. Nice, fake fisherman. That's awesome. How much longer will I be live? At least another hour and a half to two hours. I'm probably going to go to like 10, so like another hour and a half. Because that's about the time my daughter will want to go to sleep. She almost always goes to sleep between like 9 and 11, so... Depending on when she wants to go to sleep tonight, that's when I'll end the stream. Sometimes she wants to go to bed at 10, other times it's 11, sometimes it's 12. So we'll see. We will see, but the stream should be another hour at least. 
And like I said, possibly more, possibly less. We'll see. How many kills? I'm assuming you're talking how many kills since the last great one. Uh, it's been roughly 1,700, maybe a little bit more. It was 1,670 when I started the stream. We've been going for an hour and a half, which means we probably killed around 45 more moose. So, yeah, a little bit over 1,700 since our last great one. Uh, she's about to be two, Finn. What do I hunt in real life? I've hunted for blacktail deer and Roosevelt elk. Never really had much luck with both. But I, I did get really close to getting a black tail deer a couple times. First time I I found the tracks from it, right? Me and my dad were on the trail of it. We found the tracks of a giant black tail. Like the tracks dwarfed all the other black tail tracks in the area. And we we knew from the moment that we found those tracks that it was at least a four by four. And we heard it bounding off in the distance, right? And so we were chasing it down, right? And then I reached down into my pocket and I'm I'm looking for my wallet because that's where I keep my tag. And I reached down, no wallet. So we had to go home. We had to go home and grab my tag. We get back there, no deer. Deer's gone. He's long gone. No chance of uh, catching up to him. And so I missed out on... Probably the buck of my lifetime as my first buck. And then the next year we, uh, well, it wasn't the next year. It was a couple of years later. Um, I was hunting with a friend and we saw a nice little three by three black tail deer out in a clear cut. And I was getting lined up on it, right? And unfortunately I just couldn't get steady enough to take a reliable shot because there was nowhere to rest my rifle. And, um, he was like, just put your elbows on my back and try to line up on it. So I tried that and it was still like, it, we weren't able to get steady enough because he, he, his breathing was going crazy because of the adrenaline. So I, I just couldn't get a steady shot on it. So I didn't shoot it. So I've had a couple chances to take down a black tail deer, but never could really get an opportunity to really seal the deal. It's unfortunate, but honestly, that's just part of hunting. You don't always get something. There's lots of situations where you end up getting your bucks, like a buck in, a, in your sights and can't seal the deal. It's just part of it. That's just part of hunting. One of these days, we'll get one. I got faith. We'll get one one of these days. And maybe I'll record it and put it on the channel as well. Yeah, Brittany, I've actually done some videos on American Marksman. It's a mobile hunting game. Of course I do, One Way Stars. Of course I remember you. you you've been a part of the channel for a while now. Take that. You freaking moose. I don't know if I got that second one. It's fine, Speed, and just understand that nobody in here is ever like, no, nobody in here is ever targeting you, right? We're just trying to enforce the chat rules, you know? Nobody's ever trying to be mean. Good job, Moose. You died for a second time. Phenomenal. Amazing. <laughs> I guess the other herd doesn't want to show up. What's my dream hunt? My dream hunt is a red deer hunt in New Zealand. Ever since I was like 12 years old, I, I really wanted to do a red deer hunt in New Zealand. Ever since I saw somebody hunting them on TV, I immediately knew like, oh man, this is something I would love to do one of these days. So maybe one of these days, 
we'll have to try and do a New Zealand red deer hunt. Though that's quite an expensive thing to do, so I doubt it'll happen anytime soon. But it sure would be cool. Definitely my dream hunt. They are indeed P. Diddy. I, I, I'm pretty selective with who I choose as moderators. If you do it, video it, I definitely will, uh, that one noob. If I ever go on a New Zealand Red Deer hunt, you guys can bet there will be a video on it. That goes for any hunt that I do. If I ever do any type of hunting, I will record it. Hard to say if it'll go on the main channel or if it'll go on my secondary channel. It really depends on how strict YouTube is with the guidelines. Uh, YouTube tends to be pretty strict on hunting content. Man, we missed the vitals on both. Or not the vitals, but the heart. I always say vitals. But we missed the heart shot. Uh, Levi, thank you for the uh, membership, dude. Welcome back, man. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you've been having a good time. You have a secondary channel? I do Ace Outdoors. I have a channel called The Second Crow that I upload non-Call of the Wild content on. Or I guess non-gaming content on. I do a lot of like card un unboxings and stuff on that channel. It's been a bit since I've uploaded there, but I've done a lot of Pokemon openings. And then I've also done a football card opening on the second channel as well. And eventually if I ever do IRL content, it'll probably go on that channel. That's Crow's cooking channel. I mean, I could totally do a cooking video if you wanted, TTK. It is fun to cook some stuff sometime. I, I recently bought this uh, this cookbook with a lot of like uh, really healthy, delicious recipes in it, right? And I'm thinking about uh, trying to make some of them. So, I mean, if you guys wanted to see a cooking video, I'd totally upload that on the second channel. Show us how to cook Pop-Tarts? I got you, Tyson. That's easy. That's an easy one. The ultimate guide to cooking Pop-Tarts. Like a pro. Version 1. Part 1. Season 1. Uh, Veteran Prism, thank you for the uh, membership, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Enjoy the uh, perks that come with that. The emos, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Thank you so much. Coming through, giving us that great one luck. Hope you're doing great. I mean, that's pretty much a given, TTK. I don't think that's unpopular. I think that's what most people believe. I would take a uh, toasted Pop-Tart over a cold Pop-Tart any day. And believe it or not, some people hate this and... My wife did not like it until I made it for her, right? Toasted Pop-Tarts with butter on them is one of the best things ever. Like a lot of people hear that and they're like, Oh, why would I butter a Pop-Tart? Believe me, it's really good. It is so good. Just put a little bit of butter. Not a ton, not a lot, just a little bit. It is mind-blowingly delicious. Yes, Bebop, just a little bit of butter on the Pop-Tart. Not a ton, just a little bit. It makes them taste so good. Doesn't matter what kind of Pop-Tart you're using, it'll taste so good. 100% on the butter. Pop-Tarts are good no matter what. True, TTK, true. I mean, that I guess that's personal preference, Johnny, right? If you don't like butter or like a lot of butter, then that's probably not for you. But if you enjoy butter on stuff, Pop-Tarts with butter is amazing. It's so good. Uh, one of the moderators could bring my second channel up for you, Samuel. Uh, if one of the mods could bring up the command, that would be amazing. Oh, that's huge. Oh, is that a diamond? 
Look at that thing. Oh, come on. Let me spot him. I want to spot him, but I can't. Oh, this is the worst. This is just torture. This is like call the wild jail. I can't spot him. It's a five. Let's go. Oh, that estimate's not great, though. Very well could be a troll. That right there could be a troll. Oh, man, I don't know if I should take that. Well, I definitely can't take the shot now because she got in the way, but... Still an iffy shot regardless. Okay, he's calm now. If I can just get the others out of the way, that'll be perfect, man. Yes, move out of the way, ma'am. He's still calm, though. And so's that one. Okay, I need to get her to move. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. She's pushing the other one in the way. Why would you do that? That's so cruel. We got it. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. The hard shot. And we hard shot the other one, too. That was such a clutch hard shot. That cow almost ruined everything. Honestly, it's crazy how much a cow could ruin your uh, shot. Bobby, thank you for the super chat. Dude, uh, can you look in disc? I'm gonna cry and call the wild general. Um, once I get done with the stream, I will look in Discord, Bobby, I promise. Thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. That's 100% diamond. I don't know, Prime. I've had some trolls with that rack before. I don't know if it's 100% diamond. All right, later, Ace Outdoors. Thank you for being here, man. Really appreciate it. I have no idea, All Sports Channel. That doesn't sound very appetizing to me. I probably wouldn't. Thank you, X Hunter. Really appreciate it, dude. Yeah, once it becomes summertime, you guys can definitely expect more content on the second channel. Um, I'll probably be doing some, like, uh... Some like fishing content and maybe some hunting content as well. And to be honest, I might use the main channel for that also. It's hard to say. I haven't really decided. Is this our five? This is our five. Come on. Please make diamond. This rack right here. Oh, wait. Is this? Yeah, this one I think has a chance of trolling. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's going to troll. No, <laughs> I trolled. 269. I was right. I, I kind of looked at that rack and I was like, man, this is the one that trolls a lot. Ah, uh, it's a little bit uneven. I think that's what did it. I don't know how well you guys can see on stream, but look at this. This is a pointier time there. And over here, it's not. Um, these paddles look slightly different. Look, this one's more palmated. This one's not quite as much palmated. These are two different antlers. So yeah, this one was doomed from the start. That's so unfortunate. It is what it is, though. We've had so many level 5 diamonds the last couple days. We were due for a troll. Oh my gosh, Bobby. That's crazy, dude. Get that thing down. Get that beast on the ground. That's crazy. That is amazing, man. Level 5 albino. Drop a screenshot in the Discord if you haven't already. I want to see that beast. Thank you, Matt Gorton. We will, uh, we will take that great one luck and we will hopefully turn it into a great one tonight. We are, we're, we're going to do our best to get a great one tonight. I've been pushing extra hard for a great one, Moose, the last couple days. I got faith that we will get one soon. 
I wouldn't say so, GG. I mean, the Angler definitely did, but Way of the Hunter is still doing good. It's got a very hardcore fan base. I think the thing with Way of the Hunter is that it's not as appealing to a wide audience because it is slower paced. But uh, I, I still really like Way of the Hunter. Only reason I don't do a lot of content on Way of the Hunter is because there's not a lot of people that watch it. It's one of those things where since I do content creation as a full-time job, I have to be selective with what I create content on. If something's not performing well, I, I won't be able to make a lot of content on it because I just simply couldn't support my family doing it. And I kind of enjoy Call of the Wild more anyway. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. Like, the angler needs lodges. It needs the ability to tax fish. It needs a better behavior system for the fish as well. Lots of little things that could be done to make it better. Come on, Mr. Moose, turn around. I see you right there trying to act like you're not here. Boom! Where's your heart? Ain't in your body no more, that's for sure. How do you cook one minute rice in 59 seconds? Oof, I don't know, Trip. I cook it at higher temperatures? I, I don't know. I think that would be the way to do it. Just use higher temperatures, right? Or just like take that L, eat it before it's done cooking, you know? Hope you don't die from the undercooked rice. <laughs> don't do that. That's a bad that's bad advice. I'm joking. Oh yeah, that'd be crazy, Johnny. If they did that, that would immediately like win over a lot of people. All right, Bobby, I'll take a look at it, man. Let me let me real quickly check that out. Let's see this level five albino moose you got. Oh my gosh, dude, that thing is beautiful. Wow. Well, what does that estimate say? Oh no, Bobby, 260 upper estimate on an, on an albino moose. That sucks, man. I mean, that's still really cool. That's a giant moose. That I believe that will score 260. That thing should score 260, so that's still a really big moose, man. Congrats on that. It, it sucks that it's not going to make diamond, but that's still really good. I would be happy with thing. Happy with thing? I can't speak. I'd be happy with that thing. That's an awesome moose. I don't have really good luck with albino moose. I've never had a big albino moose. I think my biggest one is like a very small level four. I've never had a big level four or a level five moose that is albino. Come on, go down, buddy. That one should be vitals. Yes, it is. Nice, we got both of them. Amazing. He scored at the roof of his estimate. Yeah, I kind of figured, Bobby. Usually with the albino moose, they tend to score at the top of the estimate. So, at least it was a big one still. 260 is nothing to, like, sneeze at, man. That's a good moose. That's a really good albino. Uh, yeah, Flash Gamer. I could do that real quick. Let me pull it up. I gotta save the image though, or else it won't show up properly. Let's bring this bad boy up. There it is. This is the uh, albino level 5 that Bobby just got. Unfortunately, though, the estimate, 206 to 260, so it didn't make diamond. But that is a level 5 albino moose right there. 
Honestly, that thing looks stunning. That is a beautiful moose, man. I I would love to have a moose that looks like this. That's an albino. I've got a I've got that super rare Mela, and I've got a couple big piebalds, but I've never got a giant albino like this. That's really cool. Amazing trophy. Oh, and now that I'm thinking of it, guys, since uh since quite a few of you are in the stream right now. Um, there's been a lot of scammers going around trying to pretend to be me to trick you guys into thinking that you want a giveaway and then messaging them and then they scam you for information. Do not fall for these. I'll show you what they look like real quick. Do not fall for messages that look like this that tell you to like text the number right here. Never fall for these. These are 100% scams. Do not fall for comments that tell you to text them. Um, it's just simply not real. And then there's been some that say stuff like this. Claim your package. This is not my YouTube handle. Look for the verification check mark to verify that it's really me that's telling you that you won something because there's a lot of scammers right now. So be wary of all of that stuff. It's, it's not cool that people have been doing that. It's honestly very unfortunate. Just be safe, guys. Be safe. Um, there's not really a given trophy rating that they need to be a diamond, short stories, so the trophy rating can hit anywhere within the estimate. In general, the majority of diamonds will be level 5s. Um, it's not so much about the estimate, it's more about the rack that they have on them. Is it hard to hunt lynx? Yes, in most cases, lynx are difficult. Yeah, no problem, Levi. I, I want to keep you guys safe, you know? There's a lot of people out there that will uh, impersonate uh, content creators and try to trick their viewers into thinking that they won something and then they will try to scam you so yeah just don't fall for that remember that now now that we've got verified if there's no check mark next to the comment then it's not me I'm honestly so thankful that we finally got that verification so that you guys can actually determine which ones are me and which ones are the scammers it does make it a little bit easier thankfully and you know what's wild? The second that I got verified, more scammers showed up in my comments. It's almost like they knew that they didn't have much time left to try and scam people, so they went into double time trying to do it as much as they could. So yeah, just be wary. There's a lot of scammers right now. It's unfortunately a very bad time for scam comments. Gosh, my aim is not on point right now. Uh, Biggie Cheese, thank you for the super chat, dude. What is max score for Whitetail Deer? There's no technical, like, max score because they are a true X species, but the upper limits of the scores is around 276. That's the biggest one that anybody's ever killed of true X Whitetail on the current, uh, current scoring for them. Yeah, man, an Australia map would be really cool. To be honest, if they ever add an Australia map, I really hope we get Sambar and Rusa Deer. Those are a couple species I've wanted for a while. Hard to say, TTK. I mean, you never know. Yeah, French Fry. I mean, a lot of people see, like, um... They see that they see that somebody with a name or with my profile pictures responded and they don't necessarily look to verify if the name is the same. It's like sometimes you just see a pop up in your notifications and you're like, oh, oh man, that's that scarecrow's profile picture. That must be him. But yeah, there's a lot of people that try to pretend to be me nowadays. 
I've had to ban like 10 different people that were trying to pretend to be me to try and scam people. It's getting out of hand. YouTube has been honestly kind of slacking on taking care of bots. I wish YouTube would just get better at detecting what is a bot and what isn't. Although, to be honest, like, a couple of- oh, that was not- I was not supposed to shoot there. I wasn't trying to shoot. The recent, like, scam comments, it seems like they're real people instead of bots. Like, um, recently today when I was looking through and I found one of them, they were actually responding and talking to one of you guys. And trying to trick you into thinking that they were me. Like, I- I think it's, like, real people instead of bots like it used to be. So that's unfortunate. Just be careful whenever you guys are responding to comments that you think might be me. Just look for the check mark. Oh yeah, 7D. I've seen a few of those on other creators' channels. Luckily, I haven't had any of those pop up. Most of the scam comments that pop up in my comment section just say like, you have a package or whatever, and then it'll like, It'll, it'll like have a number to text in their name. It'll be like, text this number to receive your special package. You've been chosen for a giveaway. It, it'll be stuff like that. And it's like, it, it's very clearly not me. Yeah, Singer, it's been happening to a lot of people. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people that may not know better. They may not know that that's not... The way that I do giveaways, or the way that Kill Clinton does giveaways, or the way Dee Dee does giveaways, you know? And as long as there's people that'll fall for it, there's gonna be people that'll try to do it. Which is why I try to, like, let you guys know when that stuff's happening so you can avoid those types of scams. Um, I don't remember, Bebop. I think it was... I think it was the middle or end of 2021, somewhere in that range. I, I don't fully remember though, it's been a while. Do you think they'll ever bring elephants to the game? To be honest, no, I don't think so. EW's kind of got a thing where they don't want to introduce anything that could be controversial. They kind of leaned away from that recently by adding the ARs to the game, but still they, they tend to err on the side of caution. So if they think something could be received poorly by like the media, then they might avoid doing it. And, oh wait, we didn't claim that thing. And uh, unfortunately elephants are kind of in that category of things that could cause negative attention. Though, at the end of the day, it's just a video game. I feel like they should add them. They tend to be very cautious with that type of stuff, so I don't think we'll ever see elephants. If we do, then I'll, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, yeah, Jaren, they are coming out with a new update soon. They're adding a 7mm bolt action, a 338 bolt action, and a 308 bolt action. So, yes, they are coming out with an update including that. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Art Fox, I saw you say that, Johnny. That would be interesting. Not gonna lie, that'd be interesting. I'm doing good, TTK. Having a, having a fun night. Am I streaming tomorrow? Definitely, Connor. I will be. To be honest, today was supposed to be my day off, but because I couldn't stream for over a week when I was sick, I decided, why not stream today? I might as well, right? I'll just have to make a video early tomorrow morning so that I can have a video to upload.
Okay, that got him. Ah, he's out of render. He definitely died, though. He was at like 0 to 25. There's no way he lived. Do I have a lighting tutorial? I do. PC, peace out. I've got a... Uh, all you gotta do is type in Scarecrow uh, Lions and... Actually, type in Scarecrow Great One Lion because I, I did a video talking about how I'd like to see a Great One Lion. And I showed off my favorite lion location in that video. Would definitely recommend checking that one out. One of the better, like, lion videos I've made. Yep, yeah, pretty much, Bebop. Exactly. Whenever Aaliyah feels like going to sleep, that's when the stream is going to end. And knowing her, she probably won't go to bed for another hour, maybe two. So we might have a decent bit of streaming left. Hey, Caleb, how's it going? Hope you're doing great. All right, let's jump it. Oh, yeah. X Games over here. Look at us. Phenomenal. It's amazing. Full on Tony Hawk on an ATV. Am I right? <laughs> Any rares yet? Yeah, Aaron, we got a piebald. We got a level three piebald as well as one diamond. Or actually, no, it didn't make diamond. It trolled us. That's right. We got a piebald and a troll level five. Been a good stream so far. I I'd say that's pretty decent for two hours. Not bad for two hours of streaming. He's going X Games mode. I am full X Games. The only things that would make it more X Game is if we got a uh, great one to show up and we 360 no scoped it. I turned. No. He's behind a rock now. Hit him. I I don't know if that hit him. That certainly did. Where do the wild hog drink on Mississippi? I don't know. I think they're in like the southern part of the map. Primarily along the, like the river and the swampy area. I believe so at least. Can I get on here? There we go. If the great one red deer was the only great one that has a special thing on the ant- Oh, is the great one red deer the only thing that has a special thing on the antlers? Uh, yes, utmost mercy. Right now it is the only thing with something, uh, on the antlers. Whitetail don't have anything on the antlers, neither do the moose. Uh, the red deer is the only one with vines or something like that in the antlers. I'm hoping one of these days we'll get a great one with barbed wire in the antler. Or, like, velvet on its antlers, that would be cool too. Something like that would be awesome. Would definitely make for a very interesting, great one. Drunk driving. <laughs> You're not wrong, Isaac. Hey, Off-Road King, how's it going? What's my favorite animal to hunt? Uh, my favorite animal to hunt is the white-tailed deer. They're just so much fun. You can kill so many of them so quick, and they've got a really cool great one. So whitetail are definitely my favorite thing to hunt. Um, right now, though, I'm kind of enjoying the uh, the moose the most. But I'd say overall, if you were just talking in general, whitetail are my favorite to hunt for sure. When's the next Sons of the Forest stream? Uh, whenever Kill Clinton and Brobra are ready to do another uh, stream of it. We're doing a multiplayer playthrough. And so I'm kind of waiting on them to be ready. Tonight was supposed to be Sons of the Forest, but Kill Clinton wasn't streaming and Brobra was busy because his wife had a friend over. So. 
Wasn't able to do Sons of the Forest tonight as much as I wanted to. Was really hoping we could, but just wasn't the time for it. And I don't know what John was doing because he didn't respond to the message, so... Assuming he was busy as well. Is nine diamonds at level 23 good? That is insane, White Tail Wizard. That's actually above and beyond the norm. Pretty good, man. The coolest great one is a scrub hair. I mean, if we ever get a scrub hair great one, it would definitely be the most unique great one. What's your favorite map? My favorite map is Tiabaroa, Caleb. Such a unique map with so many cool different species. Lots of deer species, which are some of my favorite animals in the game. And uh, a really cool map for stuff like feral pigs and chamois as well. Not to mention, Tiawaro is just a beautiful map with plenty of action. Like, there's never a dull moment on Tiawaro. There's always something to hunt. Hey, Gurgery, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. I live in Tiawaro. It's so good for trout and reds. Nice, Raider. That's awesome. I, I've heard so many of my New Zealand viewers say that Tiawaroa is a very, like, good representation of what New Zealand is like, so that's pretty cool to see. It, it's a fun map. I really love it. Definitely my favorite in the game. Come on, Moosey, go down. I can't wait till we get the 338. That way, if I mess up a shot like this... They'll die a little bit quicker. Because right now, if you mess up the heart shot and end up hitting lung, they die pretty slow. Me too, Brayden. I feel like we're due for a great one, Moose, at this point. It's been so long since our last one. We gotta get one shortly. I mean, it's been almost 1,700 kills since our last one. Three thirty-eight versus Euro Bison. I mean, yeah, three thirty-eight wrecks Euro Bison. I've tried it a couple times on them. The single shot, uh, the single shot three thirty-eight wrecks Euro Bison. So I can only imagine the five shot one is gonna destroy them. Honestly, I would not mind a Euro Bison great one. I think that'd be pretty cool. Is the seven mil good? Yes, it is very good. It's a very strong 4 to 8 class rifle. One of the stronger uh, rifles in the 4 to 8 class. Thinking about getting Sons of the Forest, I definitely recommend it, Death Reaper. It's a very good game. It's definitely the uh, the best survival game I've played this year. Very well made. The devs of, Son of the Sons of the Forest know what they're doing. Oh, they always do that. They do the flip backwards, and then you miss your shot. I don't know if we got that. A little bit sparkly. We've been going for about two hours, but we still got some time left in the stream, so you still got time to watch, right? Maybe, Bobby. I'm going to say it's going to make it. Without even looking at the rack, I'm calling it. It's going to make it. Gotta love how, uh, when you reset the time, they redo their death animation. Beautiful. That's a decent four. Ah, missed the hard shot. Same on that one, but at least we got vitals. Hit him again for the second. Actually, we didn't get vitals. Wow, he's not dying. Okay. That's a little unfortunate. I was hoping we would have hit the vitals there so we would die quicker, but not going to happen. Uh, we will at some point, Bucky. If you want to see the trophy lodge, we did a tour of my Great One Lodge the other day. 
It's a uh, video here on the channel. I believe I posted it like three days ago. So it should be pretty easy to find. Uh, yeah, it was three days ago. My Great One Trophy Lodge Tour. Uh, yeah, Megan, we did end up getting the pie ball. It was a pretty small piebald level 3, but it was a good looking one for its size. Anything over here? The moose in this area tend to get kind of stuck on this hillside, so they kind of move this way usually. I'm hoping they did it this time. Yeah, that looks like the track from the one we're tracking. Yep, that's some blood. Looks like they did the same thing as they always do. They ran this way. Yep, yeah, both of them did. Okay. I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of able to predict where they're going to go just based off of uh, the zone I'm hunting. That's a good sign. It'll definitely save us time in tracking them. There he is. There's one of them at least. Uh, the other one definitely didn't get hit vitally, so he's going to get away. But we got this one. What gets more penetration, the 7 mil or the 308? I would say the 7 mil. Like, without doing any side-by-side -side tests, I would say the 7 mil does better. Um, Whenever I do a... um. Whenever I get a chance to test out all the new guns, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison, if I can remember, of all the different calibers to show you guys the performance of all the new guns. That way you can decide whether or not you want the DLC or if you don't want the DLC. Kind of like I did when the uh, 308 came out. I did a test of the M1 versus the 308. So yeah, I'm going to be doing the same thing with these new guns if I can remember to do it. Oh my gosh, I got the hard shot on the second one. I didn't think I was going to do that. I, I didn't think I was going to hit that. Oh my gosh. I even accidentally took my scope off by pressing the middle mouse button. <laughs> That's insane. We hit that second shot. No way. No way that we hit that second shot. That's ridiculous. I thought for sure I was going to hit the cow in front. Um, I mean, if you're already deep into the goose grind, you might as well continue it, Elixir. From, from the sound of it earlier, it sounds like you're pretty uh, pretty deep into the grind and doing pretty well on it, so might as well continue. One of the few people I've seen actually trying to herd manage geese. That's pretty impressive. What would I like for the next map? My number one most wanted pick would be a Texas game ranch with a bunch of exotic species like Pure David's Deer, White Stags, Watusi Cattle, uh, stuff like that. Second most wanted would be a Africa 2.0 map with a lot of species like Eland, Sable, Greater Kudu, Leopards, things like that. Third most wanted would be a... Australia map with stuff like the Sambar and Rusa deer. Another map I'd really like to see is British Columbia because that would be another map we could have blacktail deer and Roosevelt elk. Just killed a level 7 pie while watching you. Nice to legend. That's awesome. I'm assuming red deer since he said level 7. That's awesome. Congratulations on that.
Boom. That moose is no more. And neither is that one. Welcome back, Drawn. How you doing? Great one, Fowl of Fable Lucistic. Exactly, dude. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And I didn't even show you guys like the biggest um, fallow deer pictures I could find, right? Um, I have to, when I'm making those videos talking about what I'd like to see for great ones, I kind of got to stick to what I can find on like the stock image websites. Because when you're using stock images, you know you're not going to get copyright stricken if you use them in your video. Um, but there's a lot bigger fallow deer online that I, that I couldn't show off, right? There is some like farm raised fallow that are like giant non typicals, bigger than anything I've ever seen. They could make a fallow deer great one look pretty ridiculous if they wanted to. There's some that look pretty insane. I posted a picture of one in my Discord. If you guys are interested in that, I would definitely recommend joining the Discord and then uh, checking it out in the uh, Call of the Wild channels. Because it looks pretty ridiculous. Some of the farm raised fallow are crazy. And EW's done a farm raised deer before. I mean, the big rack whitetail great one is literally a farm raised whitetail uh, style rack. So, would not put it past them to do the same for fallow deer. And farm raised fallow look pretty insane. So, it'd probably be one of the most ridiculous looking great ones of all time if they ever end up doing it. Nice, GG, yeah. That's why I really want a Texas game range in the game, because not only, like, would it be cool to have Texas, but if they do a game ranch style reserve, we could have a lot of exotic species. And I know some people are immediately are like, oh, but it's high fence. That sucks. I would never hunt high fence. But it's a game. It's a video game. Call of the Wild already gives you bigger trophies than what you would find in real life. I would much rather have a... A map game based off of a game ranch that has a bunch of cool animals than a, uh, a non-game ranch map that has the same animals we already own. Or that we already have in the game, you know? I'd, I'd rather have something exciting. And to be able to shoot like a leopard and a white-tailed deer on the same map, I just think that would be pretty cool. Like, could you imagine being able to hunt leopards one second and then going to whitetail and, like, Watusi cattle, right, like, one after another, and then hunting red deer all on the same map? That would just be so cool. That's the biggest reason I want a uh, Texas Game Ranch as a map. It would just be an experience like none other in Call of the Wild, where you could get so many species that wouldn't normally be together on the same map. Uh, Lee, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the uh, perks that come with that, the emos, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Thank you so much, and welcome. What caliber should you shoot this frog with? I mean, 22 should be good enough, man. It's just a frog. 22 should be good. For sure, RT, for sure. Um, yeah, a little bit, Don. Or, Don? Drawn, I mean. A little bit, Drawn. Level 3, do we have another? I think we do. Yeah, Great One Lion would be amazing. Yeah, exactly. GG would be awesome. I would love that so much. I, I just think it would be a really cool thing to do in Call of the Wild. Did I find the Great One Mouse yet? Nope, we have not found that little critter. Hunter's been hot on the trail, but has not been able to find it. It's almost like he's never chased a mouse before. Hey, Nico, I've been good, man. I've been really good. 
Just having a blast hunting some moose tonight, you know? What are you talking about, Lionel? Those aren't a thing. That doesn't exist, my guy. Oh, that big male right there exists, though. Wow, that's a big moose. Look at him. That thing's huge. Could that be a diamond level four? I'd say it's very possible. That might be a diamond level four. No heart shot, but we got vitals. One more shot for good measure. That's a nice looking moose there. How do I harvest them so fast? So when you're on PC, whenever you claim an animal, you can press enter to claim it. Like once you have opened up the harvest menu, you press enter and it will confirm the trophy. So what I did is my mouse has multiple buttons on it. Like not just left click and right click, but other buttons as well. So I bound the enter key to one of those mouse buttons. And so whenever I am trying to claim an animal, I hit E to claim it. And then I press the middle, like one of the middle buttons on my mouse behind the scroll wheel, behind the scroll wheel to confirm it. That's how I claim them so quickly. It's a troll. I mean, it couldn't be a troll because it's not a level five. Um, if anything, it just wouldn't make diamond. A troll is a level five that doesn't make diamond. This is a level four, so it technically cannot be a troll. But it could be one that doesn't make diamond. I don't know. That could make it. That's the correct rack to make it, I think. I don't know. This is either 260s or 280s. What do you guys think? 260s or 280s? Could be 270s, actually. I don't know. Ah, man. I don't know. I don't know here. Two seventy two, two sixties, two eighty, two sixty seven, two seventy nine, two eighty eight, two sixty nine, two seventy six, two seventy six, two eighty nine. I'm gonna say two seventy five. Oh, two seventy seven. Let's go. Diamond level four. Holy, that brings us to twenty one hundred and sixty diamonds in total. What a monster. Oh, that second shot was not good. Hey, ignore the second shot. First shot was much better. Beautiful. Again, we've had a lot of diamond moose, so I'm not going to tax that one. But that's an awesome moose. Looking great. How, explain, explain this to me guys. How did we get more, we've literally got more diamond moose after I stopped herd management than when we were doing herd management. When I was doing herd management, I didn't get nearly this many diamonds. Like ever since I undid all the herd management on the map and went back to grinding normal, we've had more diamonds than when I did before, which is pretty crazy. That's like the exact opposite of what happened with Whitetail. With Whitetail, we pretty much stopped getting diamonds. We were getting them like once every 300, 200 kills when we stopped doing it. With Moose, it's been the exact opposite. I've been getting more of them. Probably just luck of the draw, to be honest. Um, I guess kind of GG, yeah. Essentially, like, the angler, it has potential, but the fish don't behave realistic enough to be, like, a, a game that'll hold long-term attention from a lot of people. That's the problem with the angler. Like, the fish don't just don't act realistically enough. They're very predictable, 
Like, I know for a fact that if I throw on a specific lure in a specific area, I'm gonna catch a specific species of fish. And I feel like it shouldn't be that guaranteed. That's why the angler has been so poorly received. Is because the fish are just too predictable. They're very easy to predict and catch. And that's why the angler has kind of lost popularity. How many diamonds does Hunter have? Um, I don't know how- I guess how many diamonds he's tracked down for me would be the amount he has. Okay, nothing there. We might need a main menu. Alright guys, we're gonna stream for another like 30 to 33 minutes because uh, my daughter's gonna want to go to bed at about 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so like 33 minutes from now. So we got like 33 minutes left to stream before she's gonna want to go to bed. Is Way of the Hunter worth it? If you like a more realistic game than Call of the Wild, then yes. Uh, Way of the Hunter is a little bit more realistic, a little bit more slow paced. Uh, but it's still a very good game. Oh, I did not mean to shoot there. That was an accidental misfire. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh no. We got at least one of them. That was terrible. How, how did that happen? I accidentally misclicked. Man. Sorry, Bosch Clay, but you, you must be stupid to think that. I, I cannot even comprehend the fact that a normal person would ever think that. Are you, are you dumb? You, you've apparently never Never played this game before if that's your first thought. Educate yourself, my dude. If you had any comprehension of this channel, you would understand that I grind hours upon hours every day. This is literally my job, my guy. What are you doing with your life? It's almost like when your job is to play the Hunter Call of the Wild, you get diamonds. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought that when you spend thousands of hours in a game, you get good at the game? Who would have thought? Apparently that guy couldn't think that deeply into it. Because I support my family off at, uh, Boschkele. But you can't say the same for yourself. Rip, we gotta reload. How about you go figure out how to get out of, out of your mom's basement instead of complaining about what a content creator does. Be more fruitful for your life than accusing a content creator of cheating because they're better than you. Cry more. That's all I gotta say. Cry more instead of trying to improve your life. What does Hunter eat for dinner? Uh, he gets the finest cuts of uh, moose jerky and, uh, you know, all the best uh, venison in the world. We we treat Hunter good here. He's a good doggo. Apologies, guys, but when a stupid comment comes through, you just got to reply with the most savage answers, you know? 
Every once in a while you get somebody in chat that just doesn't understand basic things. What am I playing on? I play on PC, Bucky. I mean, somebody could literally just look at the movement I have when playing this game, how fast I bounce between zones, and they could see that I'm not cheating. It's pretty obvious. Nobody moves this fast between zones by modding all their trophies in. You don't get this fast between zones by modding trophies in. You actually have to play the game and learn how to be efficient. Pretty obvious. Exactly, low, no limit. And plus, I'm one of Expansive World's official content creators. They don't allow people that use mods to be an official content creator. That's the first, like, dead giveaway. If I was, they would cut me from their content creator program immediately because they don't support it. They don't support modders. Seems like just easy stuff to understand, but apparently there's some people that don't even understand basic things. Sorry for anybody that didn't expect it, but it just blows my mind when somebody would think that I would jeopardize the, uh, the livelihood of my family for YouTube clicks. This channel is literally my livelihood. This channel is how I support my family. It's my hobby. It's my passion. The fact that some... Can't say that on YouTube, but... What's the word? Dumb... Eh... You, you know what I mean. The fact that somebody like that would even assume that just blows my mind. How much money in game do I have? I believe around 13 million right now. Uh, yeah, 13 million, 312,000. Haven't been gaining much recently though, because Moose time resets reduced the uh, cash gain quite a bit. I've already done a face reveal, uh, Lionel. I did a face cam video like three days ago. Hey, I just call it how I see it, Levi. What's my favorite gun? Uh, my favorite gun is the 308 AR. It's so good. Such a good rifle. What diamonds have I got this live? We got one diamond moose. And then we got trolled by a moose as well. Like that right there. You don't get good at hard shots like that by modding in trophies. That takes time. Blows my mind why people would even assume that. Got a piebald reindeer like 20 minutes ago. Nice, Mike. That's awesome. That right there is Hacks Crow. Definitely Bebop. We're smoking them all. Th Aimbot 360 no scope. This is Call of Duty, ain't it? It is now. Crow just made it into Call of Duty. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll end the conversation with this. I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but... I hope I hope that guy's is that guy's life isn't as miserable as, as it is right now commenting on YouTube videos trying to get a reaction because if that's the only thing you have in life right now that's a pretty miserable life. Focus on yourself, not what others are doing.
Just hit 3,000 kills in your grind for Red Deer number two. Nice, Joe. That's awesome. Congrats, dude. I believe in you. I believe that you will get that great one. Wait, wait. Wait, why can't let a crunchy bug? What what does that even mean? I'm confused. That adds a lot of uh lot of confusion entering my mind right now. Oh, that guy spooked. Was hoping he would turn a little bit before running, but he didn't. Uh we got that one. Oh my gosh, we hard shot him. Holy that's insane. What was my first ever... I'm assuming you meant gold that I got in the game. I don't actually remember what my first gold was. I think my first gold was a Roosevelt Elk or a Blacktail Deer. It was one of those. That was so long ago. That, actually, no. Because the first the first I ever played was on Hirschfelden. Because when I, when I played the beta in 2016, they didn't have uh, Leighton in the game yet. So my first gold would have been on Hirsch. I think it was a Fallow Deer. I'm almost positive it was a Fallow Deer. What was my first diamond? My first diamond was a diamond red deer off of uh, Parky Fernando Leslie. It was 951. Back when the scoring system was like a 1 to 1000 system, diamond was 950. That red deer scored 951. So it just barely made it, but it was my first ever diamond. It's actually here on the channel as well. I may not have been doing YouTube full time when I got that thing, but I still kept the video on the channel. Hopefully, Joe, I got faith in you, dude. You'll get it. You will get it eventually. Just keep that grind going, man. Keep that grind going. Keep faith in the uh, in the grind, and you will get it eventually. Just don't give up, man. Just don't give up. Oh, he turned last second. No. Uh-oh. Did I hit the female? I did. Oh, no. We got to go claim that one and then leave the uh, leave to the main menu. Don't want to end up killing that, uh, that cow. We got the mail. Let's main menu. Moose just went in the matrix. He did. He just obliterated into nothingness. Got my first great one, Whitetail, today at 68 kills. The surprise just as big as his antlers. Nice, Arian. That's awesome. 68 kills. That's crazy low for a great one. That's really lucky to get a great one that fast. My fastest great one grind ever was 80 kills. So 68, that is, that's insane. Stop shaking your head, buddy. Oh, this guy's dodging everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. His dodging fits the music, that's for sure. <laughs> that thing's just getting around everything. Thank you, Levi. I appreciate that, dude. Really appreciate it.
Yeah, it's a good one, Caitlin. Let me go back to it. I'll I'll let you know what it's called. It's called Rain Checking by OTE. Got another male out there. Let's get this guy down too. Oh, don't shake. No, we missed the heart. It'll definitely die, but we missed the heart shot. No, Lovis, we didn't get five diamond moose this stream. We got one diamond moose. It's been two hours and 40 minutes, and we only got one diamond moose. We got trolled by one as well. Nice, up dog. That's awesome. Seekadeer's a good uh, beginner grind for sure. Seekadeer are a really cool looking species, and they also. They actually have a really good uh, layout on the map. They are laid out very well on Tiawaroa. Should you do a red deer grind on Parque Fernando? Uh, Parque Fernando is actually pretty good at most. It's not the best. Uh, Tiawaro is the best map for Red Deer, but Parque Fernando is the second best. It's really good. So if you're feeling like you want to try it, go for it, man. It's pretty good. What was my first great one? My first great one was a Cluster Rack Great One Whitetail. Back when Rancho Del Arroyo first came out. We got it like a week into that map's release. Mm, nothing over here. I don't think we got vitals on it, so we're just gonna move on to this next zone. When are we gonna get this next great one, guys? It's been so long. Caribou great one would be so cool. Definitely. Caribou Great One would look really nice. Have I ever got a super rare in multiplayer? No, I haven't. I have not got a super rare in multiplayer. I don't even know what I would do if I found a super rare in multiplayer. I'd probably panic. Because that would just be, that would be like the ultimate risky situation. No, I missed the heart. Well, that'll take him down. He's not going to be close to the tent, though, so that's unfortunate. Will I be live tomorrow? Yes, I will, Brayden. I will be live tomorrow. Hunting some more moose, trying to get that great one. We got to get him soon. I believe in us. No one would be left in chat if she's mad. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, later, Dad Hunter. Thank you for being here, dude. Can a level 3 moose make diamond? Uh, no. Level 3 moose could not make diamond. A level 4 can, but a level 3 cannot. Only level 4s and 5s can make it. Um, I posted one last night, Robert. I don't know if you saw it or not, but last night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I posted an American Marksman video. Covering the, uh, the helicopter hog hunts. They're pretty fun.
Nice double heart shots. Love to see it. Don't shake. Don't shake, man. It, it's throwing off my aim. Oh, we gotta reload. No, no, no. Let's go to the other gun. Okay, that one's definitely dying. The other one, I'm not sure if it will. Uh, not sure, Carly. I'll be streaming until my daughter is ready to go to sleep. When she- when she's ready to go to bed, I'll have to end. But until then, we'll keep going. Dude, the hard shots! Oh my gosh, we're hitting so many hard shots tonight. It's actually going really well. We're hitting so many hard shots. Hey, the man with name, how's it going? It really is, Brayden. Like, the hard shots are incredibly satisfying. And to be honest, even though I kind of preferred it when they would drop on the spot immediately when you hard shot them, it's kind of more satisfying to see them walk a couple steps and then drop. So it, it is kind of cool to see. It's more satisfying to see them walk a couple steps and then flop over. Can a bronze level 10 albino melopard make a no trophy rating? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, French fry. Um, definitely. To totally. Yep. Yeah, totally. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a, uh, that, that's a great one. 100%. No cap, for real. I tell ya. Yup. Speed and honestly, man, just drop it. I I said this earlier, but just drop it. Don't 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 continue the conversation. Just drop the conversation. It it in my it feels like common sense. Like if something is, if you're arguing with someone and you want it to stop, just drop it. Don't continue the conversation. If you're arguing with someone and you don't want to keep arguing with someone, it seems like it's pretty self-explanatory. If you're arguing with someone and you want to stop, just stop. It's that simple. Just stop, man. Gosh. You're only doing it to yourself. Nobody else is egging you on. It's you that's continuing the conversation trying to get more out of it. Just drop it. Seems pretty simple to me. Alright, we need to get these things to turn and look at us. Man, that second one turned right as we shot. That looked like a good hit, though. Out of ammo feels bad. Yeah, exactly, French fry, and that's not a good way to go about things, like... Trying to get the last word is never a good way to go about things. It's only gonna continue to exacerbate the problem. Nothing ever... Nothing good ever comes from trying to make a, an argument continue on for longer. It, it'll never end well. I feel like that should be common sense. Where'd this other one go? I have no idea where this other one went. Uh, you can find a great one in multiplayer, Nicholas. 
It is possible, it's just unlikely. But yes, you can find a great one in multiplayer. If somebody has a great one on their map and they open it up to multiplayer, then it will still be in multiplayer. Um, I actually know somebody that has found one in multiplayer. Mel's Gaming killed a great one whitetail on Rev on Tuli multiplayer once. It can totally happen, it's just very rare. And quite unlikely. Yeah, exactly, Harley. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you just... If you just drop the conversation, like, it'll end a lot better than if you try to continue it even further. Like, arguments, they only get worse as they continue on. It's a lot smarter to just... Swallow your pride and understand that nothing good will come out of continuing it. Nice, L, vlog L Vlogs, that's pretty great. That's pretty awesome, dude. Let's go claim this one real quickly. Later, Joshua. Thank you for dropping in, dude. Is leaving two females in a zone okay? What do you mean, Leo? Like, um, are you talking about... Are you talking about is it bad to not shoot them? It, it, the way I see it is only shoot the males. Only shoot the males, and as long as there's at least one animal left in the zone, then you're fine. Just leave at least two animals in the zone. That's uh, really all there is to it. If, if there's more than two animals left when you're done shooting them, then you're good. And no, Kevin, I told, I told, um, speeding to drop it. And then other people were talking about, like, essentially saying, like, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's right. And so I was responding to those. Beautiful. Nailed him. No worries, Kevin. No worries, man. Just, just, uh, just a misinterpretation, you know. It's fine. I don't take it to heart, man. I've been fine, speeding. Doing good. Having a lot of fun. Moose have been a blast recently. Really been enjoying this grind. Uh, yeah, Bucky, I know who Kendall is. I haven't talked to him before, but I, I know of his content and he seems pretty cool. That's a strange looking four. Kind of cool, but kind of strange as well. My gosh, we're just heart shotting them left and right. I don't know if we're going to get that one, but we got at least two or three there. Later, Carly. Thank you for being here. You know what's kind of crazy, Caitlin? I can't actually see when people get timed out anymore. YouTube has made it so I literally can't even see that. Which is kind of bad in my opinion. Like, I, I have to open it up on my phone in order to see if somebody's been timed out. That's pretty, that's pretty unfortunate that YouTube's done that. You can turn it on? How? How do I turn it on? Click the dots. Toggle mod- is it toggle moderation activity? 
Oh my gosh, that is what it is. Toggle moderation activity. Okay, thank you for that. I didn't know that was a thing. You know, it'd be wonderful if YouTube would tell you when they do something, but you know, they, they couldn't do that. That'd be too much work. It'd be too much work to tell their creators that you can toggle something on and off. Gosh, man, I wish I would have known that sooner. Would have made things so much easier. But YouTube just, they, they can't ever, they can't ever make things simple, can they? They got to make it difficult. Well, hello there, little moose. I assume you guys are wondering why your, uh, why your man over here dropped. Well, it was me. I had a 300 Magnum and he had antlers. And I wanted those antlers, so I traded him a 300 Magnum bullet for his antlers. And yeah, that's, uh, that's how it happened. All right, we're probably going to go ahead and end the stream, guys. Really appreciate y'all being here. We've been live for about two hours and 53 minutes, which is a total of six hours of streaming today. So we're going to jump off. It's Aaliyah's bedtime. And uh, yeah, we need to get her down to sleep. But we'll be back tomorrow with another live stream. Appreciate everybody being here as always. This is a fun one. Only got one diamond in the three hours, but we got a pie bolt as well. So it kind of made up for it. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in tomorrow's stream. Peace.